let's continue on because I've got a lot to get to. So you're ready to jump down the rabbit hole, explore some things that are a bit way out there and wacky. All right. So on Monday, I did a show and I discussed the theory that Hillary Clinton was arrested. Now, quite it's uh, the video itself has gotten a nice response from people who seem to concur that they're feeling the same way about that situation. I'm not the only one thinking it. You're not the other only ones thinking it. This is being discussed at forums and so on. So I'd first of all like to refer you to that video on Monday. I cut out specifically the segment of the Daily News so you can just go and watch that segment directly and see. And in there I laid out the, the idea that when Hillary was at the vehicle that she wasn't having any sort of a seizure or a medical condition, which when I first looked at it, that's what I thought. What I laid out was the theory that she was in cuffs and she was arrested. And we had an opportunity to see that. Along with that video, there were various links that were made available, links that talked about uh, such things as the possibility that we are currently under a state where the military has taken over, a military coup, and that the acting chairman of the Joint Chiefs is now in charge of the United States until we get through this election cycle and we can put things right. So, check out that video from Monday. Now, moving forward from there, this is a video. I'm going to leave this for you to watch. It's uh, 9 minutes, 57 seconds. But this video here is of a woman who is also saying the same thing. She has a series of videos that are discussing this. And she says in this video, Hillary was bag and perp walked. Gratitude to the U.S. Special Forces. She goes on further to describe this scenario that unfolded and that this was an opportunity for all of us to see Hillary arrested. And we don't realize at the time what we are actually seeing, but when she describes how this laid out and how it played out, that we actually did witness something that was quite unique and were given the opportunity to see it. They could have closed off the whole area, blocked everyone seeing. Just so happened that there was a camera that was there, focused in on the situation. I want you to check this video out, listen carefully to what she has to say. Now, wanted to find out more about who she was, and this woman, and I don't know her name, uh, but she works and is part of the Court of Ages. And the Court of Ages is a court that deals with all sorts of grand jury cases and bringing to justice people who are causing problems. Okay, and so there's this one page here where it is, if it opens up, where there is a number of cases of arrest warrants. Here it is right here of arrest warrants that are being issued to various members in the international uh, body of leadership that have been causing problems and that will ultimately have to face the consequences as they face this particular court system. We see here uh, Al Gore, uh, Prince Charles, Prince William, Barack Obama, Bill Gates, CIA director, you know, the usual characters, the ones that we know of that are involved with all of the shenanigans. So I'd like you to, you know, just look at this information, consider what's going on there. But something like this, which lets us know that there's a behind the scenes activity which is taking place, there are those who want to help to bring to justice what is taking place in not only our country but throughout the world. And this video that she talks about describes the same theory, outlines the same theory that I laid out about the possibility that Hillary was arrested. And of course, I didn't come up with this on my own accord. This was something that through the various 
uh, internet forums, in particular Godlike Productions, where I was seeing this information and began tracking the questions people had. And as I began tracking it, following that line of thought, a lot of things began to unfold. So that brings us up to yesterday, where Hillary made this appearance. And normally one would think, well, Hillary made this appearance. That's it. It's over and done with. She obviously wasn't arrested. But not so fast. Remember, we live in 2016, and in the video that I showed you on Monday, I showed you technology that is available to stage events, to fake things, to use technology so that in the one image you saw there was a George Bush image, and all he was doing was he was looking right to left, just turning his head is all he was doing. But then we were able to see that there was someone behind the scenes, the puppeteer, who was wearing a headset, and when he would turn, make any gestures with his face, there was another image that was the George Bush image where this puppeteer's gestures were applied onto the George Bush image, and the one that was shown, the final version, was the image of George Bush making those gestures. And then even going on so far as to con uh, continue whatever speech he made. Now you add to it a voice technology, which I've also shown you that we have available to us, and you are going to have a difficult time telling what's what. So she had this rally the other day, and there were some real anomalies that occurred at this rally. What I want you to notice is this. Hillary's just getting ready to walk on stage at this point in time. Okay, so I'm going to play this here, and here we go, and we scroll over, and here's all these people recording this. But what I want you to notice is something here. Look at their cameras. What do you see back here? You see flags. You see a big flag here. You see they're pointing their cameras right here. Where's the red flag in the camera on their screens? Where is this? They're not filming the same event. Okay, and there's Hillary right there, and where's Hillary? You don't even see Hillary walking by. Okay, these people are filming something completely different. Whatever they're filming, it is not this event. Okay, now, one of the questions that's brought up is, well, there's the angles that they were filming at. They were filming at weird angles, but all of those cameras? Those cameras were there, and you could see that they are not looking at the same thing. Okay, Whatever they're filming here on these cameras, we should be seeing in these images what is in front of them. We should be seeing the red flags. We should be seeing this large red flag, which is there for everyone to see. But we're not. We're not seeing any of those things. And then when Hillary walks by, you would think if these people were filming, that they were going to be filming the object, the person that they were there to see, which would be Hillary. You would think they would be pointing their cameras right there at her. But they're not. We're not seeing Hillary when she walks by at all. Here, let's look at it one more time, just so you can see again. Okay, so there's something bizarre going on. Okay, they're holding up their cameras. They're looking. There's a good shot right here. Okay. So, what the heck's going on? Why do we not see anything that's taking place here? Okay, there's Hillary. Hillary's right here in front of this camera. This person holding this phone, I'm guessing, would be wanting to catch Hillary in this shot. But where is Hillary in his shot? He doesn't look like he's filming anything that is the same thing at all. Okay, so red flag. Red flag. What the heck's going on there? So, obviously, something is not right about that particular shot. 
So here we have another video. This is one of the news videos that was taken during the course of this speech. And she's giving this in front of this large red white flag here. Okay, the red and white. This is not the first time she's done this in front of a flag like this. And watch what starts to happen here. She's giving the talk, and all of a sudden, what happens? Hillary disappears. The flag doesn't disappear, but Hillary disappears. And then you're going to see it goes to a split screen. Momentarily, she's talking. Seems to be some sort of weird glitch around Hillary. And then we're going to see momentarily. Where is it at here? There it is. There's okay. Hillary's having problems. And now we go to the split screen. And a split screen is so that you can change images. You set one thing up on one screen and then you slide it over to the next one. And look, you've got Hillary keep disappearing into one, but not on the other. So is it possible that one of these is set up where they're adding her in there? And then later, this is the one that's being shown. Okay, would you call that bizarre or would you call that normal? Now, we could say maybe that's just technology. Technology is acting up. Hillary would never fake something. Right. The woman has never lied before. She's been completely honest about everything all the time. There's never been any shenanigans around Hillary ever. So obviously this is nonsense, right? Well, here's a video for you to check out, which is a whole analysis of her faking an event. And again, you see she's in front of the red and white backdrop here. And during the course of this video, four minutes and six seconds, you see you see basically the same things going on. And the video is going to get into discussing uh, cameras. Again, there's again a shot. Let's the hands out of the way there okay here's the camera pointing what's the camera pointing at there's a big red and white flag back here why is this phone not picking it up so this video does a really good analysis going through so we see that there was something being faked in this one she's in front of the same backdrop for this other event so what's taking place there? Why are we seeing these anomalies? Well, something could be, a, be definitely being faked here. Here is a example of a crowd simulation, simulation using a program that's readily available for everyone called After Effects. We see no crowd, but watch. Dun, da, da, da. Look how easy they put a crowd in there. You would think that all of these people are, are there. But this was in effect. You go back to the beginning. No crowd. Nobody. Empty area. Boom. Suddenly we have a crowd. Overlaid right on top of what is taking place. Now how does this happen? See, the way that this software works is it ha you use layers. You have a control center, a control area, in which you have one section that is the the image that's going to go out as the main feed, the public image. That is the image that is shown on television or wherever you're going to broadcast it. You have these other images, which is where you set your shots up. And you can set shots up, and depending upon the software and the sophistication of the software, you can set shots up where you have layers. You might have the first shot, like in this crowd scene, where you just have the big open area. Then you have another layer that you're going to put on top of that, which is all of the crowd. It's just a crowd of people standing there that is laid on top of this. You can add multiple layers to what's going on here to suddenly come up with a shot that is going to, you know, suddenly be very filled and very different than the original shot. Here you have an article showing, uh, it says, 
Hillary comeback campaign event flops with a small crowd. So says she returned from the siesta to the campaign trail. She visited North Carolina this morning, and her crowd was dismal. Reported less than 300 people showed up to her campaign event in North Carolina. Her poll numbers are crumbling. She can barely walk, and now she's struggling to get people to her campaign events. Okay, so we see small crowd there. How many of them are part of her team? We've seen over and over the trickery that is being done by the Hillary campaign. We see from these emails that are out that they're sending their people out to stage protests, to fake events. So they could have filled this with all sorts of people that they wanted to fake this with. But it's very obvious from seeing the video where they're holding up the phones, the cameras, we could see that they weren't filming the same event. So those people were not shooting at the exact time that this event was taking place. Either they were there earlier and they were shooting an empty event, or they were at a different event. Either way, it was staged and it was layered. Now, people say, but there was still Hillary. Well, they have body doubles. There's many body doubles that are used. After the event occurred at the car, which I believe was an arrest, and others believe was an arrest as well, we then saw Hillary come out, and we saw her wave. Hey! Have you ever seen Hillary that energetic and the look on her face? No, I haven't. That wasn't Hillary. That was a double. She came out, and there was no Secret Service around her. She waved to a little girl to come forward for a photo op, a very staged event. There was something bizarre about that because the woman that came out looked different than the woman we saw going into the vehicle earlier. This woman was suddenly leaner. Um, she didn't have all the same facial features, the wrinkles. Something was different about her. I showed you a link on Monday which shows various examples of body doubles in a comparison between the one Hillary and the other Hillary. Here's an article of uh, rents.com which gets into discussing various ideas of body doubles. The article goes on to say, looks like they are going with a body double, but where is Hillary? Questions. Did she die on 9-11 after they dragged her limp body into the van? If true, the brazen arrogance of the controllers is astounding. Hillary's on her jet with the press today, just four days after a total collapse. Now, look at the bottom of the nose, the septum where it joins the upper lip. The end of the nose irrefutably extends downward, further than Hillary's does. Furthermore, the nostrils are all markedly different shaped. Look at the end of the nose, the tip of the airplane's airplane Hillary's nose today is much larger. It overhangs, is clearly larger, droops down, and actually ends below the nostrils. This is not Hillary's nose. This does not look like the same person. This double is about 30 pounds lighter, younger, thinner overall, and full of energy. Have they been using a double at times during the campaign to get people used to the differences in appearances? Anything is possible. The technology of today is far beyond what most could imagine. So let me scroll down. There's a number of images. Okay, this is the Hillary we saw on the plane. Okay, got a good look at that. Now we're going to scroll down. There's a little close-up of it. Okay, get a good look at how she looks. And then here's another image of Hillary. Notice there is a difference in the nose. Okay. And you start going through and you start seeing and you realize that there's differences in the way these Hillary's look. Okay, there's a different look going on with this person than there is with this person. Very slight differences, but enough differences that you start wondering what the heck's going on. Okay, here's another different look here. And you see these looks and it kind of makes you think, doesn't it?
makes you realize that there's something more going on than meets the eye. Something more. Okay, some of these Hillary's look younger, some look older. Of course, this is one that we saw on Sunday. Okay. All right, so you've seen enough of the different looks of the Hillary to realize that it's quite possible that uh, we saw the other day was not really Hillary. You could see there's a difference in the way they look. Okay, the noses are definitely different. Okay, so we've got lookalikes. Okay, do we know that lookalikes occur? Well, look how many Elvis impersonators there are. How many Elvises have you seen that look like Elvis? Quite a few. I mean, there's a lot that don't, but you've seen, I've seen a lot of Elvis impersonators that look like Elvis. There's body doubles that are used all the time. We know that this occurs in politics. So we've got evidence of video anomalies. We have uh, cameras which are filming an object which isn't there. Apparently at a difference. So we see the possibility that there was layered effects in these videos. I've shown you technology that can alter um, a person's image or manipulate an image. I've shown you software technology that can go ahead and mimic somebody's voice doing it live. So shenanigans is taking place. Now here we have an article, two more docs charge cover up in Hillary health scandal. With a significant number of top physicians expressing concern that the American people aren't being told the truth about Hillary Clinton's health, the Democratic Party nominee's personal doctor is declaring she is fit to return to the campaign trail. The letter from Dr. Lisa Bardock was distributed by the campaign Wednesday after a video of Clinton apparently collapsing as aides helped her enter her limousine during a 9-11 Memorial Sunday confirmed suspicions over the past several months that she is seriously ill. Concerns about reported fainting spells, stumbles, blood clots, uncontrollable coughing, and a serious concussion that took months, however, are being attributed to dehydration, flu, or pneumonia by her campaign. Bardock works in the internal medicine section of Caremount Medical in Mount Kisco, New York. My overall impression, she wrote, is that Miss Clinton has remained healthy and has not developed new medical conditions this year other than a sinus and ear infection and her new, her recently diagnosed pneumonia. She is recovering well with antibiotics and rest. She continues to remain healthy and fit to serve as President of the United States. But a two-page letter addressed none of the issues captured on video, including her violent head jerking in one episode and her blank stare and loss of focus in another. Dr. Jane Orient, executive director of the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons, told WND that the letter from Bardock ignores all pertinent questions. Maybe she has pneumonia, but the timing is perfect for explaining a fall that we weren't supposed to see, which could have been caused by some neurological, neurological damage that caused previous falls. Uh, from a distance without formal Dr. Lieb, author of Surviving the Medical Meltdown, your guide to living through the disaster of Obamacare, took no time in expressing alarm. From a distance without formal evaluation, there are still three things I know for sure regarding Hillary Clinton's medical condition. She has a neurological order. Pneumonia did not cause the episode on 9-11. And she and other staff have been trying to cover up the truth of her condition for months, if not years. She explained, I practice orthopedics and am a fellowship trained in spinal surgery. As such, I do a lot of neurological evaluation in my clinic. And as an orthopedic surgeon, I take care of fractures and elderly people who fall. 
Now everyone falls occasionally, and as we get older, we fall more frequently. But even people with loss of sensation in their feet, people with weak muscles, and people with chronic conditions like cancer don't fall that frequently. There are only two groups of people who fall a lot, raging alcoholics and people with neurological disorders. If Hillary were drinking herself into falling, she would not have been able to perform at her usual job campaign, but for over a year, she has fallen on camera and behind camera. We are told a heat stroke, dehydration, and other reasons to justify multiple falling episodes. She has fallen and broken her elbow and fallen and hit her hard head enough, apparently, and caused bleeding. Okay. So, a lot of suspicion there. I'm going to leave this to you because it's a lengthy article. But again, more questions about Hillary's health from doctors. And people may say, well, this isn't her doctor. They can't make an evaluation. Why not? Isn't that the purpose of a doctor, to be able to look at somebody and say, you don't look well, you should go to the hospital. You don't look well, let me do an evaluation on you. We have eyeballs, we observe. These are people that are in the profession and are trained to look at somebody and spot whether somebody has something wrong with them. Sure, you need a closer, up personal examination to be able to know exactly what's going on, but a trained physician with years of experience behind them should be able to look at somebody and be aware enough to know whether that person needs to be evaluated further. There are many, many doctors who have seen Hillary, has seen the public profile that's put out about her to date, and understand by looking at her that there's something wrong with her that is not being expressed. Now, is it possible that the DNC is telling the truth about Hillary? Well, let's think about that for a minute. Has the DNC ever lied to anybody? Have they? Of course they have, over and over and over again. They've continued to lie. And then when they lie and they get caught, they lie about the lies that they told. So they're not a trustworthy group of individuals. Most recently, the current leaks that came out from Guccifer are bringing forth a lot of information. We've seen the connections in there from Obama to ISIS. We've seen the collusion that the DNC is having in, in uh, rigging the election. We see how they are accepting payments in pay-to-play schemes in order to put people in positions of power simply by no donations they are giving. Lots and lots of collusion. But here is a gem that was in there. This is a gem about the media. It says, this is who I will meet with in New York City, at each meeting I'll discuss hits that we've executed. Hits that we've executed, if relevant, and future hits. Anything I should add? And if we look at this list, we have here Fox News, America's Newsroom, Head HQ Team, Shepard Smith Reporting Team, Kelly File Team, O'Reilly Factor Team. We go over to MSNBC, we have the Diaz Ballard team, the Live with Tamron Hall team, the Chris Hayes team, the Maddow team. Here we have CNN, Anderson Cooper, Aaron Burdett, Don Lemon, and then we have Reuters, BuzzFeed, and now this team. Well, let's see, have we ever heard of any of these individuals that I mentioned? Have any of them ever been brought up as possible uh, stooges for the political party? The answer to that would be yes, quite often as a matter of fact, quite often indeed. So now we have to ask the question, what's really going on? What's really going on with these individuals and why is the lie being told to us? Good question indeed. But as you could see, something weird is going on, something weird that we need to know about and understand because we're not being told the truth. All right, so there you go.